I'm Tracy Bloom, and today I'm going to be reading my book, One Big Bully. There once was a creature named Bully the Bull who made fun of the others to try to be cool. He made fun of their horns. He made fun of their walk. He even made fun of how they would talk. Each time his words brought tears to their eyes, his average bull horns would grow larger in size. He saw a young bull trying to walk, and instead of helping, he laughed and he bucked. Though I am tiny, young, and quite small, my heart is the biggest one of them all. As the young little bull mustered his strength, Bully's bull horns grew longer in length. Then he saw a large bull that was old and quite slow. He laughed, it takes you so long to go. Look at me run, I'm so fast and so strong. And as he laughed, his horns grew two times as long. The old bull said, Though I'm larger in size, my years of age have made me quite wise. He shifted his focus to a different shaped bull that he labeled as weird, odd, and not cool. Instead of two horns, he had only one, which made it easy for Bully the Bull to poke fun. Without the weight of two horns on my head, I can move faster than others, he said. But Bully just laughed, pointed and jeered, proud of his horns and how he was feared. Then a young happy bull with spots on his coat walked up to Bully before he could gloat. He said, I'm proud of my spots and how different I look. But before he could finish, the ground split and it shook. Rocks tumbled down the mountainside as the bulls quickly looked for somewhere to hide. The wise bull yelled, go to the cave and hide. And one by one, they all piled inside. Well, almost all of them, all except one. Bully's horns were too big, he could barely run. He tried to move, but as much as he tried, his horns were too big, too heavy, too wide. They watched from the cave as rocks fell from the sky and Bully the Bull started to cry. This is a sight I simply can't stand, the little bull said as he ran out to hold Bully's hand. The wise bull said, if we all work together, perhaps we can get Bully out of this weather. The bull with one horn, who was really quite fast, Move the big fallen rocks so they all could get past. They lifted his horns, first the left, then the right, and his big heavy horns suddenly felt small and light. The bulls had helped him, even though he made fun, and Bully realized the horrible thing that he'd done. The wise bull measured the cave where they stood, but his horns were too wide and it didn't look good. As the ground continued to rumble and shake, Bully said sorry for his big mean mistake. And as he began to apologize, his horns began to shrink in size.
Size has nothing to do with how strong you can be. You, little bull, are much stronger than me. As he said sorry, his horn shrunk once more, allowing Big Bully to fit through the door. You with your wisdom and you with your speed, all of your gifts have helped me indeed. I'm sorry for all of the things that I've done. I realize that we are all stronger as one. That very day, as Bully came back into town, something was different. There were plants all around. Bully realized that he had a gift too. Every time he was nice, everything grew. The entire town had all the food they could need, all because of Bully's good deed. The end. Thanks for tuning in.